Okay, so here's our faulty circuit board. Um, that's uh, somewhere on this board a problem exists that doesn't allow the drain pump to work all the time. Um, could be in the power supply where I am right now. 12 volt uh, DC supply uh, supplies the uh, coil on the relay. Could be all elsewhere, we don't know for sure. Odds are it's the relay. But I found a used board opposed to the $258 Whirlpool board um, that I'm going to uh, be getting in here in the next day or two to get this machine up and running. I can't, uh, we need our washing machine. So, um, and later on though, I'm probably gonna shoot a video. I'm gonna get the relay and I'll shoot a video if it works. Um, but for now, we're just gonna show you how to change out the board. Okay, first things first, safety, unplug the machine. Okay, I've gotta take this uh, operator plate here. The board is behind here. So we're gonna have to uh, remove this. Get it out of position. The way to do that is to put a little putty knife underneath the corner, pushing in, the string, and then lift up. It's disengaged. You know, in the back corner, there's a couple of uh, small hex head screws here. Okay, so now just lift it off the back. And there we are. So now we have to unplug it. Okay, so everything has to be unplugged. And these are difficult to pl unplug. They all have latches on them that you have to release first. This one, for example, push that out and lift it. Um, some of them have double latches that you have to try to somehow get on and, and they're a struggle. So um, take your time, get them all off of there, throw them out of the way. Okay, just pull the dial straight out. And what remains here again are two quarter inch hex head screws. Simply lift it up and disengage it. A piece that fits in a slot here that rotates out. Okay, a replacement part just came in. Found a used one on eBay. So let's slide this into the slot and screw it back in. Press them in here the way they were. Now on the top, this one comes from down there. These in particular really go, they go in hard and they come out hard. These large ones, these large, very sharp. Connectors. They're very difficult to take out and they're almost as hard to put in. And then here's our power. Again, we can trust these. Place. You can stick the knob back on. Okay, we'll slip this console back on then over the back and then snap it into place in the corners and put the two screws on. One in each one in each corner. Okay, here goes. We're gonna test the cycle. We'll come back and check later. There it is, the done LED we've been looking for. Went through all the cycles. Look at that. Spun everything out. Ready to go into the dryer. Thanks for watching.